Hearts of the Rivoli, November 2024 is here. That's great news. Yet scary, right? Almost the year is over. It was just New Year's a few months back. Seems like a few days or a few moments away and we are here almost in the end of this year. So we shall discuss career, finance, relationships and health for every ascendant. So ascendant only should be seen and not the moon sign. So for example, if your moon is in uh, Gemini, don't see that. And if your uh, ascendant is in Taurus, then you should see Taurus. Okay. So no confusions, transits only from the ascendant. The only exception is if you have Sare Sati, that will always be from the moon sign. Right. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him for personalized consultations. You can always visit my website down below. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So now let's get to Aries. So for Aries, your son will transit in Libra in the 7th house initially. And then of course it will go to the 8th house. <clears throat> but initially, you know, it will bring focus to partnerships and collaborations in your career. So be prepared to work in teams. And then Mars is also in your 4th house, uh, which is uh, the sign of Cancer. And this may cause a bit frustration in your workplace because it is also aspecting the 10th house and uh, there could be some frustration at your home also, especially uh, when I say home, it does not much mean the family environment, but the home in itself, you know, like the house. So there could be some repairs that could be required and, you know, uh, that could give you a lot of frustration and emotional turmoil. Okay. And you might be uh, wondering that what is going wrong in a profession, but you have to brush up some skills and go to the next level, okay? So try to keep your emotions balanced. This is very important and especially because sun is in the seven, you might need to deal with other people. So be ready to talk to others if required. Now, in terms of finances, your Mercury Venus will be in the eighth house in the sign of Scorpio. So this can indicate either you gain money through others or you lose money through others, okay? So just because it's the eighth house, I won't say it is just you know, gonna make you a lottery millionaire or you will lose all the money, okay? So it depends on your Mahadasha and Antardasha, but there will be something to do with partnerships or inheritance or joint assets, okay? Especially if you're married, something to do with your spouse also. So there is a need to maintain caution when it comes to joint finances. Do not make, whims do not take whimsical decisions without consulting your spouse or the people whose uh, money uh, you are dealing with, okay? And try to avoid risky investments unless you are like very sure, okay? And try to read between the lines. So the problem with the eighth house is you may just see, you know, maybe you are in the stock market, you are seeing some news and then you buy some stock or you sell something. But please read the, the news properly in detail. There could be nuances which you miss out, okay? This is very important. Then in terms of relationships, uh, Mars is aspecting your 7th house, so a tough one. Okay, so this could create rifts in your married life. It, it is possible and of course, Sun also is in your 7th, so the rifts could be more. And um, the natural Karaka uh, for relationships, Venus, is in your 8th house, so that could also bring some troubles, okay? So therefore, uh, you may experience that, you know, you are overly passionate about relationships or your physical life or, you know, you are frustrated that you are not able to, you know, uh, enjoy, you know, physically. Or you may be frustrated that, you know, you are losing so much money. So either way, there could be some frustrations because it's the eighth house. And, and uh, of course, uh, as uh, 15 November approaches, sun will also go to your eighth house. So, yeah, there, you need to uh, keep your sexuality in check, okay? And in terms of health, again, you know, this is not the best period uh, because your 8th house is very prominent and your 7th house also. So there could be issues with like, you know, accident, stress or, you know, hyper anxiety could be there. Okay. And there could be issues with your digestion also. So please be careful because from the 8th, the 2nd house is receiving the aspect. So you need to be careful on what you are eating. Okay. So therefore, uh, be a bit on guards during the month of November, but uh, be specifically careful when you are dealing with money related to other people, right? Aries, all the best. Now, we go to Taurus. Okay, what's going on, Taurus? So, for Taurus, your son is in Libra in the 6th house and 
particular that can bring some work related achievements or challenges it can help you to resolve conflicts because the sign of libra helps you to resolve conflicts and it may improve your relationships or maybe you know you get the uh, the sour side of the deal and you uh, have to uh, you you are the one compromising okay so it could be either ways and mars will be in your third house in the sign of cancer this will give you extraordinary courage and uh, this might make you seem overly forceful or overly aggressive overly dominating overly assertive up to the point that you seem to be rude okay so <clears throat> you need to understand that there's a thin line between be being assertive and being rude so be assertive but not rude okay unless something is going on which is immoral or you know which which or or somebody else is being rude to you okay now mercury venus will be transiting in your 7th house so there is possibility of interactions with lot of people and especially members of the opposite sex but what is the reason for the interaction is it you know you are dating somebody or you are going for a business trip or you are going to a event or you are just you know socializing randomly that will depend on your mahadasha and your antardasha very 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 important okay and this can give you financial gains through partnerships and um, you have to ensure that there is transparency in dealings okay otherwise what will happen there will be misunderstandings okay so in terms of relationships now uh, mars in third can make you as i said you know ultra assertive so you need to be watchful on your speech because that can create issues in your marriage or in your love life especially with your siblings and your neighbors also but luckily you have venus in the 7th that will enhance the power of your love and affection and mercury is also there so it will help you mm, yeah solve uh, if there's a problem okay so this is a good time in general to have romance and you know go to some holiday with your spouse or with your friends also and uh, in terms of your health your health might uh, you you might want to you know exercise more or you might uh, you know get into some small accidents like you know getting this what what is that moch aa gaya pair mein okay <laughs> some sprain or something like that so some small issues could be there but i don't see anything major but nonetheless uh, sun is in six so your problems might come to light okay so which means if you have some treatment during this time it might happen that uh you are actually getting to know what are your problems in the body okay so if you see there are problems then don't worry don't panic understand that you have to solve the issues and you cannot go without solving them okay so be can be careful of your speech keep it under control don't bully others don't act ultra aggressive or ultra assertive understand there's a thin line between being assertive and being rude all right to stick here now we go to gemini so for gemini your sun will be in the sign of libra in the panchav sthan which is fifth house very 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 powerful position this is one of the best placements to have and this will enhance your creativity at work it will help you to stand out then you have mars in the second house <clears throat> which may cause a bit bluntness in your communication which could lead to conflicts with people in the family or at your workplace okay especially family and mercury and venus will be in your 6th house this is fantastic for your work and uh, interactions with your colleagues there could be some issues or there could somebody might do some backbiting and all this okay some gossip may be there mercury shows you know gossip and all this so uh, there could be some rumor that is spread about you you know so you need to be a bit careful with your what this and because mars is in the second you may blast and you know like ah oh, what is this you know you you guys are talking nonsense about me <clears throat> so therefore you need to be a bit careful in your workplace any time you feel there is anything suspicious you know like some people are doubting you or you know people are talking behind you you need to confront them in the right manner with the right attitude not because you want to or uh, destroy them but you want to protect yourself okay very 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 important so financial planning is also very necessary 
to manage you know debts or loans or like you know health related expenses which could also come and you could also have some good expenses because of you know your job like you know you want to pursue some certification or some course the only thing you need to do is avoid making impulsive decisions this is very dangerous okay now in terms of relationships mars is in your second house so there could be there could be you know arguments with family members as i said already so you need to be mindful of your tone especially with your elders but uh, the other problem also is you know your venus is in sixth okay so therefore this can create further problems also in your love life okay so basically gemini this month is not the best for love romance and family time okay so maybe you should uh, enjoy your work a bit more <laughs> because <clears throat> with venus in sixth if you try to go for you know that fancy vacation you know uh, there would be some clashes and you know the vacation is ruined it's possible okay but if you already have booked tickets uh, then that's okay you don't have to backtrack but be aware that there could be some conflicts okay and there could be some issues related to your throat or related to your diet or related to your teeth also because mars is in the second <clears throat> So therefore, you need to uh, avoid overeating or uh, avoid eating too much spicy food. That could also uh, land you up in trouble. Okay, but nonetheless, this is a this is a great time for like you know expressing your creativity at work, especially with Sun in the fifth. So your focus should be on your work this month. Okay, and uh, your creativity. So try to figure out what you want in life, what you enjoy doing. And be a bit careful with your family members and your spouse especially. All right, Gemini, please take care. Now we go to Cancer. Cancer, number four. And Sun is also in your fourth house, right? So Sun is in the sign of Libra. Very, very, very important for you because Libra is a Kendra house for you, right? Kendra Sthan, it's the fourth house. So therefore, this will bring focus into your family. So you might focus on your mother or, you know, your home in general your house especially you know something to do with real estate or you know some repairs in your home or your car or you might buy a new home or buy a new car depending on which dasha you are running and you may feel the need to a bit you know withdraw this time i'll tell you why because <clears throat> mars uh, not mars mercury venus will be in your fifth house and these two planets are very creative planets right so that you may want to you know express your creativity learn new creative skills you know and uh, explore speculative investments and you might become a bit lazy at times but 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 there's something very important mangal the planet of fire will be in your first house okay so now this means you are working but you are doing smart work so it so people may say you are behaving like a lazy fellow but actually you are not lazy you are doing the work but you are doing your, your quantity is less but your quality is more so you are focusing more on smart work one qualitative work okay rather than just increasing the quantity so therefore now this is a great time or maybe a very bad time to go towards speculation and you know stock trading and all this depending on your dasha if your dasha is good you will go and make profit if your dasha is bad you will lose money okay so be careful with that and Mars in the first house can make you very direct, you know, and that could lead to friction because it also aspects the seventh house. But nonetheless, in general, this is a good time, you know, for love, romance, uh, beauty, creativity, you know, like traveling, having fun. And now uh, this period is supportive for romantic interactions, but uh, yeah, it, it could be a bit over the roof, okay? So this is something you need to be aware of. And in terms of health, you know, you might get high blood pressure or your anxiety could be a bit more because of mangal. And your uh, you might be desiring too many things. It's like, you know, I want this, that, this, that, this, that, you know. And then you're like, what the hell is this? You know, nothing is happening. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so you might feel a bit irritated, you know, that have so many desires but only a few are getting fulfilled okay but that's how it is you know you have to balance you know, your desires and your physical activity also with you know things like yoga pranayama and all this so if you feel anxious and if you feel like 
yeah, you are not able to do things even though the period is good, then uh, it is recommended you do some yoga or some pranayama or some breathing exercises to harmonize that energy properly. All right. So Cancer, focus on your creative life, your love life. And of course, your home and your mother especially. All right. And be aware of your anxiety. Take care. Now we go to Leo, Leo Lagna. Leo Lagna, Surya is your Lagna Lord and he will be in your third house, in debility. So you might feel you might feel a bit low for no reason. You may feel, oh, what is this? You know, I'm not me. <laughs> is it me or somebody else? You know, because third house is the house of courage. You know, imagine a it's like, you know, you, you you want to do things courageously, but you are not able to do it. It's like a very precarious situation. And when that happens, what happens? You overdo. You become a victim of, you know, like over anxiety, you know, right? So, understand that you may not get everything you want, but later, of course, after 15th, the sun will move into Scorpio. So, then it will move into Kendrasthan, your fourth house. So, that's a bit better, okay? Uh, but the problem is Mars is also in your like, you know, uh, 12th house in the sign of cancer, right? So this can lead to hidden challenges or obstacles, you know, that uh, take away your motivation. It's like the fire is gone and you feel a bit depressed. You feel that, you know, you are good enough. So this this is a dual problem. Lagna Lord in third in debility and Mars also in the 12th, in all, also in debility. Okay, so yeah, it's it's not on your favor this month, okay? But nonetheless, your Mercury, Venus, they are in the fourth house. Uh, this is the house of, you know, creativity and learning, especially, you know, not so much of creativity, but creativity related to the home, okay? Because fourth house is the home and Mercury, Venus are indicating creativity, especially Venus. So you could focus on interior design or, you know, buying a new house or buying a new car or making your car more appealing than it actually is. <laughs> you may be also interested in, you know, gadgets and yeah, you know, buying the latest iPhone and all this. Okay. So you need to understand that you should avoid impulsive spending because Mercury, Venus, Venus gets stickable in the fourth house. So you may want to like, you know, spend all the money that you have. And then later on, you may be wondering where, where did all my money go? Okay, so this is very important because otherwise what happens, you will regret later uh, and be careful before you buy any latest gadget. You know, unless it is required, don't, uh, don't do it, okay? <clears throat> now, Venus in the fourth will bring uh, good interaction with your family members and uh, you will want to, you know, nurture your family members to a good extent, interior design and... Uh, at the same time, Mars uh, aspecting your 7th house from the 12th, this could bring some uh, issues with your spouse, okay? And you may feel that, you know, your spouse is not understanding you and, yeah, you may feel the need to withdraw and uh, not just interact much, okay? So, withdrawal is the best remedy for Leo this month, okay? So, try to make an effort to stay connected with your loved ones, now, uh, and as you know, Mars in the 12th will also show there is need for good sleep because you, you may uh, suffer from like, you know, too much of anxiety and you need stress management. So please have a regular sleep schedule that will help you uh, have, you know, relaxation techniques because see, Mars in the first house will give you like hyper anxiety, but you will want to act on it. But Mars in the 12th, will give you like a very, uh, it will give you like an anxiety which is there, but you cannot express it, nor can you solve it. It's like a very dark energy, okay? And uh, that can, you know, start eating you from inside, okay? So, therefore, if you feel that uh, life is not fair, then understand that it's not fair for most of the people. And if you feel that you should, you should be doing better, then where you are, then yes, that's correct. But at the moment, be satisfied with your performance and your progress, okay? Don't just uh, 
go and uh, say that, you know, no, what is this, you know, I should be doing more. Of course, that's a great attitude in life. You should never be satisfied in a way. <clears throat> but understand that time is always not on your side, okay? So if you feel you are lagging behind or you are not able to match your deadlines, then it's okay. It's okay, my dear friend. Uh, that's not the end of the world, okay? And in terms of your health, specifically your sleep might be impacted. You may get, you know, dreams of, you know, like you are running somewhere or snakes are chasing you or, you know, like the police is behind you. Some of these kind of dreams might be there. So therefore, make sure that you have a good sleep routine, at least uh, six and a half to seven hours. And then you will be able to fight back the next day morning. All right. Take care, you. <laughs> Now you go to Vargo. Vargo, Surya is in your second house. That's a great placement, actually. And this will bring opportunities related to your career, your profession, name, fame, power, position, status, your network, your net worth also. Okay, so this is a great time to search for a new job or if there's a job interview or something like that, perfect. Because after 15, Sun will move to your third house, which is again the house of interview. So this is the best month to focus on your job and your interviews okay mars will be in your 11th house fantastic position although in debility but it will help you pursue your goals only problem is you might be a bit more ultra assertive with your your network circles and they may feel that you know you are being too desperate okay so if you need something from others uh, request them ask their help but don't be too much dependent on others okay this this could be one thing and be mindful of conflicts with your co-workers and especially friends, okay? And control your speech. Now, Mercury Venus will be in your third house. So, this is a great time to, you know, travel. Again, a great time for giving interviews, learning new skills, you know, creative self-expression. So, therefore, this is a great time for short-term uh, short travel, short-distance travel, communication and networking events also. Consulting is also something which you can uh, explore or, you know, public speaking. Like, for example, somebody invites you to speak somewhere or so. Go and take that opportunity because the third house and the eleventh house both show, you know, communication and uh, all this. Okay, so <laughs> short distance travel may also bring opportunities. Could be long distance also because the ninth house receives the aspect. Now, Mars in your eleventh house may cause some friction in your relationships in general, okay, your love life also, your spouse or with your friends, as I said, or with your social groups. But luckily you have Mercury Venus in the third. So third, seventh, eleven, these are karma houses, they show interaction. So it's like a plus minus. So it's like you want something and you speak it out and then somebody's heart and then you go and apologize. So if there could be a situation where you are like, you know, moving from one extreme to the other, okay? So Venus in the third will uh, enhance your charm and your cap capability to, like, you know, communicate effectively and it will empower you with, uh, yeah, like, the power of convincing others, okay? So if you want to convince somebody of something, maybe this is a good time, okay? <clears throat> and nonetheless, in terms of health, you know, because of society social pressures and activities this might lead to a bit of stress so make time for rest and practice relaxation techniques okay especially you might feel that you are becoming too much extroverted because the third and the 11th are like too prominent okay so therefore if you feel uh, it's too much you know then maybe you need to withdraw for some time and understand that you have your limits you know you cannot keep talking to every everybody every day all right so if you are fed up of interacting with people, then don't don't hesitate, don't regret, don't lament to say no. And understand that you have to revitalize, re-energize yourself and only then go and talk to others. All right, Margo, please take care. So now we go to Libra Lagna, Tula Lagna, what's going on? Surya, the 11th Lord is shining in your ascendant, your first house. So, this means name and fame is, it's there, it's coming. <laughs> so, some popularity, some recognition, some shining like gold. <laughs> 
So your leadership skills will bring recognition maybe at work or even in social settings. And Mars will be in your 10th house, which is the sign of cancer. Fantastic. This is Mars is in big bulk, but in debility. So this means Mars is a very strong position to do things, but you might become too obsessed with the results. Okay, so therefore... You need to be careful with your workplace. So this means if you have projects in your workplace, then uh, you should execute them with caution, with calm and with peace. Okay, very, very, very important. Otherwise, it might lead to conflicts with authority figures if you are too aggressive. Now, in case of finances, this is a brilliant time because your Mercury Venus will be in and don't forget Venus. Venus is your Lagna Lord. Okay. So Mercury Venus will be in the second house in the sign of Scorpio and it will support you through financial gains and via making you know intelligent communication and uh, you will be able to manage your finances carefully. Although you might have a tendency to overeat and gain some weight during this time because you know Venus, Jupiter, Moon in second, they always make you eat a lot, right? <laughs> So therefore, be watchful of what you put inside. And financial decisions may be beneficial, but also you need to be careful that you might have so many expenses also because the 12th Lord Mercury also will be in your second house, okay? So this means you might have some business expenses, which means you these are like, you know, necessary expenses for improving your business, okay? Now, in case of relationships, Mars, uh, yeah, is in the 10th house. So relationship with your colleagues may be a bit strained. But in general, uh, it should help you. This month should be good for you in matters of relationship because the second house is also the house of family, as you know. So, And you have two benefits there. And the only thing is, you know, Surya is in your Lagna. The sun is in the first house. So you might be a bit full of yourself, you know, like, yeah, it's me after all, right? <laughs> so wherever the sun transits, that is where you kind of feel that that is something which is like very important. So now your first house means you yourself. So you may feel you are overly important. Okay. So therefore, it might be that, you know, people complain that, you know, you are being a bit narcissistic, you are being a bit too full of yourself and not hearing what the other party is saying. Okay, so therefore... You, are, you need to understand that you have to also hear what others speak and not just force others to hear you, okay? So therefore, in your personal life, in one-to-one -one interactions, you should support other people also. Now, Venus in the second will support this, you know, affectionate communication, um, empathic hearing, and it will be a good time for you to develop family harmony, if you wish, okay? But the problem is, the only challenge that you will have is your Surya is in the first house and Mars is aspecting it. So, <clears throat> your first house, which is your health, may be a bit affected in a negative way. Now, when I say negative way, I don't mean that, you know, you will have some disease or surgery or uh, accident, but you, you might be too much obsessed about getting results and you know about people noticing you so it's like you know you are noticing who is noticing you okay <laughs> it's like a two-way street and because of that you know you might have a lot of status anxiety you know what are people thinking of me how many people are liking my posts you know how many people are sharing my posts how many people are patting my back through the thumbs up so therefore if you feel that you are becoming too obsessed with yourself, which is very possible because you have one fiery planet in the Lagna and the other in the 10th, in Digbal. Very, very, very important. Okay. In that case, you need to understand that nobody will like you doing this. Okay. So therefore, don't ruin the good effects of Mercury Venus transiting the second by your egoistic or arrogant behavior so control yourself this is a great month for you you might get some name fame or something good can happen in your profession but be watchful of not being full of yourself okay all right so 
if you can take care of this interactions with people, this is a fantastic month, Libra. Congratulations, all the best, okay? Now we go to Vrishchik Lagna, Scorpio. What's going on, Scorpio? Another good, I would say, another good month, okay, for you. <coughs> so for you, Sun is in the 12th house. Now you may think, oh, what is this, you know, how can uh, this be good? Well, I'll tell you why this is good, because although Sun may be in the 12th, but you know you have Mercury Venus in your first house, okay, so you will meet people, you will socialize, and the only danger with this is, because Surya is in the 12th, you may feel that, you know, your confidence is a bit low, and you know, you may feel that, you know, what is this, you know, I'm not I'm, I'm not being able to be myself. I'm not able to just be who I am. And you are trying more about, you know, pleasing others. You know. So, Sun in 12th house can encourage uh, work behind the scenes. And it may uh, give you the feeling that you are not doing great in life. Okay. But don't worry. You have Mars transiting your 9th house. <laughs> this is a fantastic placement for you. And this can create opportunities, you know, for travel, for higher education, and also for learning from mentors one-to-one. -one. So therefore, if you want to gain knowledge one-to-one -one from somebody, hands down, this is the best period. No, no other period is better than this, okay? And Mercury Venus in the first house, fantastic placement. This will boost your charisma, your communication skills, and it will it will make your period favorable for negotiating financial gains or you know, to start anything new in general. So going to social events partner and uh, you know, partnering up with people uh, for the good is actually recommended. Now in terms of relationships, your, your Mars, your Lagna Lord is in the ninth house. So this can lead to ideological clashes with your father or with your mentor. So this is something you need to be aware of. Okay. And Venus, although in the first will make you very charming and it will give you the ability to attract members of the opposite sex if you so desire. And Mercury will make you ultra flamboyant. Okay. So in terms of Exploring new relationships. This is a fantastic period. And in terms of health, you need to be careful during uh, long-term travels, long-distance travels. So, very important because Mars is the night. So, you might need to cut down on your trips, you know, to some extent. Maybe if, <clears throat> if that's the need of the hour and this can help you prevent problematic health issues, okay? So, therefore... If you feel that you are, you know, uh, socializing too much more than what you should be, then maybe it's a great time that you withdraw a bit because your Surya is also in the 12th. So that will help you like, you know, withdrawing a bit, you know, coming, coming out of the situation and trying to understand what people are doing, what you should be doing. All right. So Scorpio, Great time, you may feel a bit out of place. Great time to socialize, to meet people. But careful with your father and your mentors. All right? All the best, Scorpio. Now we go to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic sun in the 11th. Fantastic transit. Okay? <clears throat> Although later on, after 15, Surya will go to your 12th. But nonetheless, this is a great transit. In the beginning part of the month especially. So, sun in the 11th house will bring opportunities to achieve goals, you know, uh, through other people, help from other people, recognition through social circles. And the only challenge that you have is, you know, Mars will be in your 8th house, okay, in Cancer. This is not a good placement. This can make you extremely frustrated in life for no reason, okay. You may be thinking, oh, what's the reason I'll be frustrated <laughs> <laughs> That's no reason, okay. Mars in 8th is like, uh, I don't care what you have. I don't care what you don't have. But I know what to do with you. <laughs> to make you feel you have nothing, okay. So, now, there are some ways you can know how uh, 
which area can give you this feeling of frustration for example when you are dealing with you know like joint assets especially with your spouse or with your in-laws or the family members friends anybody anything joint can make you frustrated so if there are if there are assets which are like you know together and you want to make a decision you know like you have some money you and your spouse and you know you have to buy some property or sell a property and put the money into some stock then either ways you have to you have to understand that it cannot be a one way street so you have to both sit down and negotiate how you should carry this forward okay it might happen that your partner is you know saying things which you don't like and mercury venus now will be in your 12th house okay this is a challenging placement but this will give you a lot of opportunities to uh, spend your money in luxury so if you are you know traveling you know, luxury travel first class business class this is a great time okay but only thing is you need to be cautious and conscious and aware of hidden expenses or impulsive spending so be careful before you take loans and emi and all this okay and because they are also in their 12th house like mercury venus and mars also in the 8th you know your your sex desire could be a bit out of control and you know you may want to engage or indulge with members of the opposite sex so that can make uh, others a bit they may feel a bit intimidated by you okay <laughs> so there could be emotional intensity you might love drama you might love you know attention from others and you might get into arguments because you may feel this person is not giving you attention this person is not giving you time this person is not asking how are you did you ask me <laughs> all right but luckily uh, venus in general is uh, supporting most of the elements of the 12th house so if you want to go for you know some romantic trip with your lover with your wife husband then in general it's a great time okay so it's a great time for privacy and also to find yourself and don't forget surya is still in your 11 so you will have gains but it uh, will come with some frustration and you know with loss of money that's the summary and in terms of health yes uh, there could be problems because there are three planets in your dustanas right like when i say dustanas i'm i'm indicating the 8th and the 12th here these two dustanas the most difficult of dustana houses so therefore you need to understand that there could be you know some accident or you know, some minor accident or there could be you know some surgery that could be required yes that could be if your antardasha is indicating mahadasha is indicating surgery there could be surgery okay now it could be that you already know and now the surgery is happening or it could be the other way around where you know your uh, a new thing comes up and you have to do the surgery later it's either way wrong okay so in short you have to be conscious and cautious and aware of your health okay very 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 important and avoid you know going to some very risky place you know or avoid traveling in the night or you know like mountain rock climbing and all this you can but be aware that <laughs> there could be dangers okay so practice uh, relaxation techniques you know like try to go to some spiritual community do some uh, do some meditation and you will do much better all right sagittarius good time but please take care all right take care now we go to capricorn so capricorn what's going on sun in your 10th house in dick bull although in debility <laughs> <clears throat> so this will bring back your focus to you know career advancement you know public recognition Mars in the seventh house in Cancer can con create conflicts with you know your business partners if you have business partners okay or clients or so approach interactions with patients very important. But for money this is a fantastic month because 
your Surya is in the 10th and your Mercury Venus will be in the 11th and after half of the month Surya will also go to the 11th. Fantastic. This is the best month of the year for you Capricorn Ascendants to make money or to gain financially. Fantastic. No other better period than this. <clears throat> so you will have gains through social circles, network circles, through collaborations, you know, financial growth would happen exponentially or astronomically. <laughs> and the only challenge you will face is during relation in terms of your relationships. So Mars is in seven. This is like a Manglik dosh, which you will have. <laughs> so this may lead to disputes with your husband or with your wife. If not handled carefully, you may be too forceful. You may exert yourself. You know, you may dominate the other person. Okay. Now, Venus and Mercury, Mercury Venus will be near 11. So that will, uh, to some extent, you know, minimize this and it will help you uh, support a harmonious life, okay, with your spouse. And in general, it can be good for, you know, love, romance and all this, okay. But you need to understand that your son is in the 10th. So that will give you fire. Mars in 7, that will also give you fire. So you may be very aggressive, very dominating, okay, with your colleagues or even with your spouse. So that is something you need to avoid. And if you see that is happening, you have to make sure you try to cut it, okay. Otherwise, yeah, people may feel that you don't care for them, okay. And in general, in terms of health, I don't see any problems. But yeah, there could be a lot of work stress which could give you, you know, some problems, okay. But no generic health problems. I see everything is good. Of course, depending on your overall chart. But in general, this looks to be a fantastic month for you, Capricorn, especially for money and for networking, career opportunities. So capitalize on your career and you will make exponential gains. Okay. Thank you, Capricorn. Please take care. Now we go to Aquarius. What's going on Aquarius? Aquarius, 9th house. Surya will be in your 9th house. Then Surya will move into your 10th house after 15. The prox, fantastic for higher learning, new language, you know, masters, PhD, postdoc, or even bachelors. Any, any, any way by which you can upgrade yourself, fantastic. Great period for long distance travel, for foreign travel, for discussing about international matters, international relations, diplomacy. And Mars in your sixth in Cancer will also bring out your energy. Okay, so you might you might uh, have some challenges at your workplace. Challenges in the sense like you, know, you will get some targets which which might be tough for you to achieve. But take up that challenge and Go and solve it, okay? Now, in terms of finances, this is fantastic for you. Like Mars in the 6th, Mercury, Venus in the 10th house. Thumbs up, fantastic, brilliant. Okay? So this will bring in great career opportunities for you for career advancement that will positively impact you know, your finances. You know, there will be gains through career efforts. You know, so... It's 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 a mind blowing time basically, okay, and you will socialize a lot, and you will you will be able to understand people, okay. You will be able to understand why is somebody saying something? Why should why should I listen to this person? How should I do? What should I do? So you will be able to judge a person very well, and in terms of relationships venus is in the 10th house so you might meet a lot of members of the opposite sex in your workplace <laughs> or in general you know your your interactions with, with the opposite sex will be related to you know some networking event something with money or career and all this okay but don't uh, don't forget mars is still in your sixth house okay so because mars is in the sixth so it may bring stress related uh, related to work and this might cause some issue in your love life. 
So therefore, yeah, make sure that whatever is happening at your job stays there at your job. It you know does not come and <clears throat> it does not come and destroy your life. If that happens, your personal life will be hampered. Okay, and also in terms of health, you need to be a bit watchful about you know surgeries and you know accidents. There could be some small issue. Or there could be issues with your digestion. Digestive health could be impacted or there could be inflammation in general. So maintaining a balanced diet and a regular exercise routine is imperative. So if you if you are feeling that, you know, uh, I should go and exercise, then, well, yeah, this is the best time where you should not just think, but you should also go and implement, okay? So in general, this is a great period for you to... Uh, you know, understand your health, you know, get some treatment if required, you know, allopathy, Ayurveda, homeopathy, whatever that is good for you. And in general, your focus will be on learning, work and your career. Okay, so this this will be your focus. All right, so good period, but with some caution for health and relationships. Aquarius, please take care. Last but not the least, we go to Pisces Lagna. So for Pisces, this sun transit is in your, uh, initially in your 8th house, then mid of the month it will go to your ninth house. Okay, this is a fantastic period for research. So it could bring, you know, sudden opportunities or changes or transformations at work uh, or with your health. So for health, this is not the best period. But in general, if you want to deep dive into something, this is great. Mars is in your fifth house in the sign of Cancer. This will, you know, encourage creativity for you. This will also bring some level of impatience. You know, it's like you want the results now. Okay. So try to avoid impulsive decisions, especially when it comes to you know your creativity or your love life. And in terms of finances, your Mercury Venus will be in the ninth house. So, so this will support your financial journey through, you know, education, <clears throat> travel or higher learning. Okay, so this this month you should be a bit more kind of, you know, focused on learning things, okay, uh, rather than implementation. So you may feel that you want to do so many things, but you are not able to do. Why? Not because you are incompetent or you are incapable or you are not deserving. But because you are not having the knowledge, so therefore get the knowledge from higher mentors, you know, from online courses, offline courses, whatever. You no. Know. And once you get the knowledge, go and try to implement. Now, in terms of relationships, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, Mars is in the yeah fifth house, so there could be disagreements, you know, with your children or with your lover, especially. There could be disagreements in romantic relationships or with the, even your subordinates, okay? This cause also shows subordinates. But luckily, Venus is in the ninth. It will support harmonious connections. So it's like saying you get angry because of Mars and you blast on somebody and then you apologize later because of Venus, okay? So, yeah, this is like a period where you... You may do things uh, even though you don't want to and then you may regret later and apologize, okay? And it's a great time to learn a new language or, you know, travel abroad because of Mercury also, you know, skill, language and all this. And Mars in the fifth house, you know, will um, suggest that you might have some issues with your immunity, okay? So immune system could be uh, hit so you might feel that, you know, your body is not that strong enough or, I mean, you don't have any problems, but you feel a bit low sometimes, okay? Or you may have, you know, the, like high blood, blood pressure and all this, okay? Your anxiety may be a bit on the higher end. Or you may be too much impacted, you know, by what's going on in your love life. Oh, what is he saying? What is she saying? You know, what is going on? And why did he say like this? Why did she say like this? So, 
you should engage in activities that promote relaxation and joy and along with that understand that you don't have to do everything at once you can do it gradually and you don't have to you don't have to conquer the whole world in a month okay so you may do it over a course of decade or two three decades but because of mars in field you may feel no i need it now and sun is also not helping you either right so therefore please be aware that this transit might be a bit impulsive for you and how to counter it is by you know learning doing more research and doing meditation try to calm yourself down right please take care pisces thank you so much everybody jai sri ram